get yourself started at Padlet.com. Padlet bills itself as the easiest way to collaborate, and they are not joking. Watch this, it's just one click. Think of it like a Google Doc where everybody can type at the same time, but it's also a kind of digital corkboard. All you do is share this address with your class, and you're up and running. In the next video, we'll learn how to modify a few things in the settings to make this more user-friendly for the classroom. Let's take a look at just four examples of what it can do. To begin with, what if you need a KWL chart in a digital form? Our guy Niles, for example, wants to tell people about electrons. Our friend Isaac still doesn't understand Newton's third law of motion. Here's another use. Let's say your class wants to pick topics for a mammal report. Pete decides polar bear is his choice. Cat says, I want to do the lynx. And Mary chooses muskox. Here's a third example. You could ask your class a question, and they could go on an image or video scavenger hunt. Let's say you wanted to brainstorm things that have potential energy. All you need to do is drag and drop a picture into the wall. My last example for today is sharing links. You're studying earthquakes, and your student Bob wants to contribute a website that gives the most recent earthquake data. And then you just type in the link down here, iris.edu. In the next videos, you can see how to remove comments or prevent inappropriate posts from getting on the wall in the first place.